Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little makeup tutorial with this look right here. Um, I am just going to do my eye here. I've done the rest of my face um, at the beginning of the tutorial and then I go through how to do the eye look. So if you want to know any of the other products that I use that I don't mention, make sure and check the description box. I will list all of that down below. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I've already done one eye and the rest of my face so you can see where we're going with this in each step. So I'm gonna finish this eye. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. All the way up to the brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with my crease color which is going to be Cupcake by Makeup Geek. Looks like this, just sort of a dusty rose color. So I'm gonna take that on a MAC 217 and blend that into the crease. As you can see, I'm gonna make a little bit of a triangle there. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. So I'm gonna put it through the crease, but then I'm gonna create that shape. So through the crease and a bit above the crease. I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit and sweep it across. And of course, blend. So now I'm gonna deepen that with Makeup Geek Bitten, which is just a dark burgundy color. It's gonna go really well with this look. So just a little bit on the tip of the brush, and I'm gonna be a little more targeted with that color. A little more towards the outer edge in that corner. Blending it in, but making it darker on the outer corner. Go in and blend it out even use a little bit more of that cupcake color that we used to help blend it out. I'm also going to use just a tiny bit of Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and that's just going to add a little bit of a warmth here to help blend out the edges up on top. So just right on top there. You can skip this step if you want, but it just adds a little extra dimension. So now I'm gonna go in with the star of the show, which is a Makeup Geek duochrome uh, pigment. This is called Wildfire, and it's just a gorgeous, um, sort of a, an orangey, reddish color. It just, it shows all different colors there, as you can see. Just really beautiful. It looks just like a sunrise. So we're gonna use that. First, I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet with some Fix Plus, just like two spritzes. Not soaking wet, but wet enough that it will help, you know, place down that product. So I'm gonna put that right on the lid, all the way there, and just not all the way in. You can see just like two thirds of the way. And you can build that color up just a little bit but it's pretty pigmented as you can see. So now I'm gonna take yet another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is a foiled eyeshadow called In the Spotlight and it's just a peachy, shimmery champagne color. It's gonna be really foiled and beautiful. So I'm gonna take that just on the other side of this brush and I'm just gonna put it right in that inner corner. Just gonna add a little bit of contrast there add a different type of brightness. And then put a little bit in the inner corner too. And if you need to be a little more precise, you can take it on your, on your pinky. So then you can go back in, take a little extra pigment, and just kind of blend those two together. So now I'm gonna go back in to Bitten and just intensify that outer corner. Now that we have that pigment down and even putting a little bit of that color right at the edge there and overlapping them. And then going back in with Cupcake to blend it all together and to smooth everything out. And I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Vanilla, which is just a pale vanilla shade. <laughs> and since we have so much shimmery stuff going on, I'm gonna just take this, it's just a matte color, and put that underneath the brow bone to highlight our only non-makeup geek shadow. I'll just blend that out a little bit, blend those edges out. 
You could take a little bit more peach smoothie if you wanted to, but just blend it out with the brush. So now I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I'm just gonna do a very thin line across and just slightly wing it out, just barely. Now I'm going to go on to the lower lash line there. I'm just going to take Bitten on an angled brush and add a little bit to the corners there, just to the outer half. And then go in with a pencil brush with Cupcake and blend that out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of peach smoothie and blend that just a bit underneath those pink colors just so that there's not so much pink. You won't really see it, but it just helps everything not look quite so bloodshot. And the other thing we're gonna do to combat that is to add a nude liner to the waterline so your eyes don't look just red and bloodshot underneath there. We'll just add a little bit of a flesh tone there. And you could add a black if you wanted it to be a little bit more smoky, um, but this is not meant to be a super dark look. See the difference that makes now? So now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes and put on some mascara. And so now you could go in and put on falsies if you wanted to. I went ahead and skipped them for this look, but you do whatever you like. And so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. This duo crown pigment just is amazing and I wanted to create a look out of it. So I really hope that you liked it. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this kind of tutorial where I've already done one eye and then I go in and do the other. It's something new that I'm trying that I've seen on YouTube. So let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to me already, please hit subscribe. I would just love that. I'd really love for you to stick around and I hope to see you next time. Bye.